Hello, you are welcome. In this video, we have this exponential problem, which is negative 3 to the power of t, and this equals 3. We are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. Now, we are going to make use of two different methods, so let's consider the first method. I can copy out this negative 3. I have negative 3, and this, I can express it as negative 1 times 3. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. I bring it down here. I have negative 1 times 3 raised to the power of t. And this equals 3. Now, if you have a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. Now, if you observe the t here, we are going to distribute it for each of the terms here. I have negative 1 power t times 3 power t equals 3. So we have negative 1 here. And we can make use of this identity in order to eliminate this negative 1. So if I have e to the power of i times pi plus 1, this equals 0. So this is the Euler's identity. So from here, if I move this over here, it becomes i times pi, e power i times pi, and this equals negative 1. So that means negative 1 equals e power i times pi. And there's negative 1 here. I replace this with this e power i times pi. I have e to the power of i times pi raised to the power of t times 3 raised to the power of t equals 3. Now, if I have a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n, I apply this identity right here. So what I'm going to have will simply be e to the power of i times pi times t, because I need to multiply this out, I have times 3 to the power of t equals 3. So at this particular point, what we can do next is to make use of natural log. So I take the natural log of e to the power of i times pi times t times 3 to the power of t, and this equals the natural log of 3. So this is a, this is b. If you have natural log of a times b, this equals natural log of a plus natural log of b. So right now, I'm going to apply this identity right here. So I will have, this is ln of e to the power of i times pi times t plus ln of 3 to the power of t, and this equals ln 3. So, don't also forget that if you have ln of a power b, this equals b times ln a. That means this i pi t will come behind this ln, and the t will come behind this ln. So we have i pi t times ln of e plus t times ln 3 equals ln 3. So right now, the ln here cancel the e. ln of e is 1. So that is just like having i pi t times 1 plus t times ln 3 equals ln 3. If you multiply this out, you have i pi t plus t ln 3 equals ln 3. There's t here. There's t here. I can factor that out. I have t times d divided by t. This is i pi plus d divided by t. This is ln 3 equals ln 3. Now solving for t, I divide this by i pi plus ln 3, 
I divide this by i pi plus ln3. This cancel this. So right now, I have t equals ln3 divided by i pi plus ln3. So that is my solution for that. Now the next thing I'm going to do will be to consider a different approach of solving this. We still have the same problem, negative 3, power t equals 3. Then I still make use of the same first trick in which I will express my negative 3 as negative 1 times 3. So I have negative 1 times 3, raised to the proof t equals 3. So right now, what I can do again will be to apply this identity. Remember the complex identity? Square root of negative 1 equals i. If I take the squares, this cancel this, so I have negative 1 equals i power 2. So right now, I replace the negative 1 with i power 2. I have i power 2 times 3. Raised to the power of t and this equals 3. So right now, I make use of log. I take log of i power 2 times 3 raised to the power of t equals log of 3. Now, remember if you have log a power b, this equals b log a. So the t here will come behind the log. So you have t times log i power 2 times 3 equals log 3. Now consider this logarithm identity. If you have log a times b, this equals log a plus log b. So this is my a, this is my b. I apply this right here. That means I'm going to have t times log i power 2 plus log 3. Then this equals log 3. So right now, I isolate this t by dividing this by log i power 2 plus log 3. I divide this by log i power 2 plus log 3. This cancel this. So I have my t equals log 3 divided by log i power 2 plus log 3. Now that is not all. Still remember the same identity. If you have log i power 2, this equals to log i. Remember if you have log a power b equals b times log a. So applying this and making use of this right here, so we simply have t equals log 3 divided by 2 log i plus log that. So the half, we have this solution right here. And this is based on logarithm, while this is based on natural logarithm. So any of the method that you want to use is obviously correct. Someone asked me what is the value of log i. If you know what is the value of log i, drop it on the comment box. What is the value of log i? Log of imaginary number i. All right, so that is it. Thank you and goodbye.